second chapter in module 4 that is instance based learning is learning set of rules so in learning set of rules first we'll understand first we'll see the introduction part in the introduction part we are going to see about the definition of an a learning rule or a learning process next we have the different rules that is a classification two types of a classification in an a learning set of rules so first see uh, the definition of a learning rule or a learning process the learning rule or a learning process it is a method of a math mathematical logic or an algorithm which improves the network performance or a training time here in order to improve the network performance or a training time so we are going to use a set of rules that is when we convert so here we are going to convert the logical relationship into an a set of rules Suppose if we consider the decision tree, we know that a decision tree, it is a pictorial representation where uh, each and every condition, based upon the condition, we are going to perform the classification. So based upon the Boolean function that is yes or no. So it is a binary related classification that is which classifies based on zero or one condition that is yes or no condition. Now suppose if decision tree it is converted, that is a logical relationship logical relation decision tree example i'm giving it is converted into a set of rules then there will be a proper utilization of a network performance and the training time so this is known as a learning rule or learning process so once again i'll repeat the learning rule or a learning process it is an a method in which the mathematical logic or an algorithm it is going to improve the network performance or the training time so here we are going to convert that is a logical relationships are converted into a set of rules so this is known as a learning set of rules so next we'll see the classification of a learning set of rules so before that let's understand why we need a learning set of rules so we know that in a machine learning system it is a rule based system it helps in the identification and utilization of a set of relational rules that correctively represent the knowledge captured by the system now this learning rules if we utilize it instead of a lengthier decision tree and given to a code in the form of a rule then there will be a proper utilization of a set of relational rules and thus reduces the uh, reduces the time and also improves the performance so this is known as a learning rule so now let's understand the classification here we have two types of a classification in the first type of a classification uh, we have two types one is a decision rule or an if then rule so in a decision rule or an if if then rule first we are going to consider a decision tree the machine is going to understand or learn the decision tree then it translates the decision tree into a set of rules that is an if then rule means it is same as that of an our if else condition so if condition is satisfied then certain statements are going to be executed or else then condition is executed and certain set of statements of then condition will be executed so that is an if then rule or a decision tree rule understand in a decision rule or an if then rule is the one where the machine is going to consider the decision tree and then it translates the decision tree into a set of an if then rules example you can take any decision tree and write it next genetic algorithm the genetic algorithm as the name itself indicates it is based upon the if i compare the analogy you know that in a biological terms what is a genetic means so here in a genetic algorithm in a machine learning the rule is represented in the form of a bit string so bit string in the sense in the form of ones and zeros and uses a genetic search operator to explore this hypothesis space i know uh, i hope you know what is meant by hypothesis space and hypothesis space is the one where you have all the predicted values or predicted mm -hmm, prediction so when you compare the predicted value to an actual value if it is correct then we say that the error is less and we say that the prediction is accurate 
So hypothesis space is the one. It is a collection of many such hypotheses. Now genetic algorithm is the one where the rules are represented in the form of a bit string that is zeros and ones and you are going to use an a genetic search operator to explore this hypothesis. The search operator here it performs in three steps. First is the selection, second is a crossover, next you have the mutation. So uh, selection, what is meant by selection? Selection here, suppose you have a many number of a bit stream. So in a selection process, you are going to select a two or more best parents from a population in order to perform the crossover. So selection process is nothing but selecting the best parents. So you have a procedure for it and you have a problems for those. So all those things are not there in your syllabus. Just understand the definition that is sufficient. Next step is crossover. A crossover is randomly cutting the bit stream. The randomly cutting the bit stream in a sense it can be in an LSB part or in an MSB part. And the, the, the randomly cut bit stream it is uh, chosen by the user depending upon his need. He can perform an LSB cut or an MSB cut. So this randomly cut bit stream it is then swapped and then it is concatenated. Uh, this is known as a crossover process. The next step is mutation. The muta After performing a crossover of our two parents we are going to get the child string. So this child string is considered and the mutation is performed that is changing 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 and randomly selected string it has been performed. Note that we are going to choose here randomly selected string. There is no rule that which bits you have to consider. So you can choose any of the bits depending upon the need of the user. So this is known as genetic algorithm. So the first classification you have two types. One is a decision rule or a if then rule. So here in a decision rule the machine is going to learn the decision tree and then it is going to translate the decision tree in the form of an if then rule and a genetic algorithm is the one where the each rule is represented in the form of a bit string. Bit string in the sense in the form of ones and zeros and using again a, a genetic search operator so you are going to explore the best hypothesis space. So genetic algorithm it is performed in three steps. One is a selection, next is a crossover, next is a mutation. Now let's see the second type of a classification. The second type of a classification you have the first order rules. The first order rules it is also called as in horn classes. So here you can consider the example. So let's understand what is meant by a first order rules. The first order rules are defined by consisting of an variables. Here x and y are considered as a variables without knowing the variable value here we are going to define the rules so that is known as a first order rules or an horn classes so let's consider the example if parent x comma y so here how you have to read is y is the parent of x in the sense y can be a father or mother of x if y is the parent of x then y is chosen to be as an ancestor of x. Now let's see the second example. If parent x comma z in the sense z is the parent of x. Correct? z is the parent of x. Next. What does this symbol indicate? It indicates the conjunction. Conjunction means what? Conjunction means it is an AND function. So how does our AND function work? When both the condition are 1, then the result is going to be true, right? So this two conditions, it should be satisfied. So let's see, one condition means your AND operation. How the AND operation is performing 1 into 1, then only you are going to get 1. Suppose it is 1 into 0, 0 into 1, this is not going to work, right? So let's see this condition. If Z is, we know that Z is the parent of X and y is the ancestor of z then if both the conditions are true then you can say that as y is the ancestor of x understand who is z z is the father or mother of x z is the father or mother of x and y is considered to be as an ancestor of z okay who is z now z is a parent of x then can i say it as y y 
is the ancestor of x yes i can say it since this is an and condition it is going to be true understand this z is the parent of x where y is the ancestor that is grandfather or grandmother of z now can i write as my y is the or my y is the grandfather or grandmother of x when z is the mother or father of x and my y is the grandfather or grandmother of z can i write automatically that y is also the grandfather or grandmother of x that is only i have written here so this is known as a first order rules where you are going to operate in terms of an a conjunction and you are going to operate it on the variables next second type of a classification here it is a propositional rules in a propositional rules instead of considering the variables you are going to consider the values of the variables and you are going to perform the rules here understand whereas in first order rules you have consider the variables whereas in a propositional rule we are going to consider the values of the variables so what are all the classification i have written here all the classification it is based on an sequential covering algorithm so now what is the sequential covering algorithm as the name itself indicates sequential means it is one after the another so all the algorithm here it is going to work in the form of sequential means it is going to consider only one training example from the database it is going to formulate a rule and delete that complete training example in a sense if you have a complete database and if you are considering the first row of that uh, database that first row is considered uh, rules are being formulated different rules are being formulated any rule any method you can apply it and then that when it moves to the second row the first row will be removed so this is known as sequential covering algorithm so the sequential covering algorithm is the one it learns one rule at a time and then incrementally grow to the final set of rules so this is known as sequential covering algorithm so all what are all the classification that is a decision rule genetic algorithm first order propositional rule all these rules are based on se uh, sequential covering algorithm so i hope you understood the question they can ask from this is define an a learning rule and explain the classification of a learning rule so much you have to explain it so you have to define the learning rule you have to explain two sets of classification in the first set you have decision rule and a genetic algorithm in the second set you have first order or in horn classes and a propositional rule